Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of our submarine build. In this video, we're going to continue the progress as always, and we're mostly going to do that with just detailing about, I'm going to add some lights around, some paint blocks, a little bit more detail, kind of get this thing looking a little bit better. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for the support on the videos lately. The, the submarine series is doing really, really well. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, if you do want to see more videos, I've got a few more ideas in the works. I'm going to start releasing those once we get a little bit more done with the submarine. I don't want to have too many things going on at once. But if you do like the videos, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe for more. I'm going to keep them coming. And like I say, uh, these, these creations will always get onto the workshop so you guys can play with them. So um, once we get it a little bit more completed, you can also look forward to that. But yeah, thank you very much for the support. And uh, we will get right into the build.
All right, so that is going to do it for our time lapse section of the video. And in a couple seconds here, we're going to hop back in the world and kind of show off. Right now, I'm just hooking up the last of the uh, the lights that we had added to the uh, the hole. So I uh, I apologize, a little dark right now. I'll um I'll I'll turn daylight on later. Right now, this is really just kind of to show off the uh, the spotlights and the deck lights and all of the uh, some of the details that we added. I always like to check it and. Um, different lighting just to make sure you like how it looks during the day and the night and stuff. So this is also probably a pretty good time to uh, talk about some of the things that we'll be doing to this sub in uh, some of the following episodes. Um, just I've got it at a pretty good stage at this point where it, it's pretty pretty close to done. Not quite. It's still got a lot of testing and, and detail work and, and whatnot to do, but for the most part, uh, everything that I want technologically is there. So um, later on, we're going to be adding a second seat in the little cockpit area there behind the driver. And that is going to be for a gimbal camera that is controlled. And you'll also notice when I go into the, uh, the cockpit, it's all kind of a mess right now. So that's going to get completely reworked. And we're going to have a video um, a, a lot of different cameras around the submarine and a video feed that feeds into a heads-up display so you can kind of check the uh, the sub from a bunch of different angles if you like as well as it's going to have an artificial horizon I'm going to have an autopilot a depth hold and an auto level for the submarine um, as well as there's going to be a few other features as, um, in there too but the other thing that I'm going to add and, and you guys won't really see this because a lot of that was behind the scenes is there's going to be a lot of built-in warning systems for the uh, submarine so it'll let you know if it's low on battery or fuel or air or there's I think there's seven or eight different uh, fail points that it will warn you about so that's that's kind of a nice it's it's just an extra safety feature make sure you uh, you know don't don't run into any unexpected trouble and whatnot but yeah right in that window right there that three by three window there's gonna be a HUD later on and, and that's where our camera feed will be so uh, the, I, the style for that was I wanted to have a lot of uh, data for the driver but I also wanted to keep this really big open wide window in the front of the submarine for viewing so that, that kind of lets you do both. And you can also see we got our spotlights on here and um, there's also a laser, you, you'll notice there's a laser there. That is, um, I don't know why that's there, if I'm being honest. So <laughs> um, later on that, that's gonna get changed, but the spotlights, they, they look like they're working pretty well. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to light things up underwater. If you do this, just kind of note that um, the more, um, green tints for the light are going to penetrate the light a little bit better than like the, uh, the, the whites and the yellows for underwater. Um, I don't really like to look at this, so I just kept it white. You know, it's your underwater visibility is not really going to be incredible anyways, so um, it is what it is. And then you can see I'm up in the top here just kind of testing out our uh, our little entrance to the sub and making sure the, uh, the, the pumps work and the alarms work. Um, you can see that little green or that little yellow breaker. You go ahead and flip that when somebody's outside of the sub and it allows the uh, person controlling the sub to know that there are divers in the water, um, basically not to move the sub and to you know, be safe and whatnot. So. But we'll turn, uh, we'll turn the day all the way to night one more time and I'm just gonna kind of swim around the sub. You guys can see it. I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the lighting right now. I'll say we got pretty good coverage on the floor of the ocean and in front of us. Probably going to need to add more on the sides just for, um, you know, people are out diving. Um, but I think this is a really good starting point. And uh, I think that the, the sub is starting to take shape and starting to look pretty good. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue this. And uh, this, is, this is about the end of the video here. So I'll start wrapping it up. And again, I wanted to just kind of take a minute and say thank you guys uh, for all the support. The videos have been doing great lately. So um, I really appreciate that. And uh, if you do want to see more, like I said, don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to keep these videos coming, keep the builds coming, and uh, I got a, uh, a few fun ones coming in a, a couple days here. So keep your eyes out for that. It's going to be a, a quick little build series and uh, just something fun that I've, I've never done in Stormworks that I've always thought about and never really attempted. But yeah, guys, so that's about it for this one. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.